What's up, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you one of my absolute most favorite tools that I use for OSX called Clip Menu. It's something that you've seen over and over again in my videos, and I use it all the time. So it basically allows you to store a whole bunch of stuff in your clipboard, so that way every single time you copy something, it essentially adds it to a history that you can go back into and easily use anytime you want. So let's check it out right now. So now Clip Menu is probably something that you've seen me using a lot and maybe wondering what it is. Well, it's an application for OS X that is a clipboard manager and it's a great, great application. It's something that I, uh, it's one of the very first things I install on any sort of computer I'm working on because I really just can't live without it. It's freeware, it's easy to get, you just come to clipmenu.com and you can download it from here. Now what it does is it allows you to have Command Shift V as a shortcut uh, for pasting. So instead of doing just Command V, you can do Command Shift V, which is something that you train yourself to do really quickly. And it brings up this menu. Now from here, you have a whole lot of options here. Uh, basically, uh, by default, it has the last 20 things you copied to your clipboard. So it just keeps a history of your clipboard. And you would not believe how much I use this. I mean, on my uh, actual development machine, I have up to 50 items saved in my clipboard at all times, along with things like snippets and all sorts of uh, other stuff. So um, if you come in here to preferences, you can see that you have a whole lot of preferences. So you can boost your clipboard size to something like 50. You can have the history sorted by last used or date created, auto saving the clipboard history. I mean, there's just a lot of stuff here. And for uh, free, I mean, this application is really as good as it gets. Uh, so by default, it launches on login, which of course you'd want it to do if you're using this. You could have it show images when you copy an image. For instance, if we click copy image, now when I do Command Shift V, just like in the example, you can see that we have the actual image here in the clip menu. Okay, so what else? We have things like type, what things you can actually copy here. We have actions and we have snippets. Now snippets are really great because you can make folders. Let's say if we had something like emoji and then you can then make a snippet just by uh, pasting in that actual snippet in here. Because I don't have one ready and I'm not used to typing one out, I can just simply have the this sort of face here. But now anytime I want to go ahead and use this, it's just in my emojis folder and I can just throw that in there. So I actually save a whole bunch of stuff in my snippets uh, from terminal commands that I use uh, sometimes but not all the time. Emoji and anything I just don't want to type, right? So we also have things like you can change the shortcut where it's by default command shift V and I really like it that way so I do leave it that. And then you can have a check for updates. So nothing super crazy, but I would highly recommend checking out Clip Menu if you're on OS X. It's something that I just really can't see myself using a computer without at this point. So check it out. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit me up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tuts. I love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.